So one of the first ever videos I uploaded to my YouTube channel almost two years ago was a prediction slash speculation video where I kind of thought that the new Corrado would come out with the MGL spool. So it turns out almost two years later my prediction comes true in the form of the Japanese version of the Corrado the Scorpion. So I got this from Japan Lure Shop and he always packs up these boxes so nice. He's got this little tab here. All you gotta do is pull up. Oops. I guess I pulled a little too hard so y'all know it's scissor time. Okay, here we go. So, since I am a pretty repeat customer at Japan Lure Shop, he sent me a gift, a Mega Bass 110 Junior, and this is actually a pretty sick color. So that's pretty nice. This is the one of the main reasons why I always go to Japan Lure Shop, even though they don't offer free shipping so this item here is probably a good 20 something dollar value here in America and since I love fishing jerk baits this is the perfect gift so I'm gonna lay it off to the side of course he's always grateful all right so here we go finally we have the scorpion MGL been waiting for this one for a while Let me reset my damn camera now I'm really interested to see the color of this reel because some pictures make this thing look like it's bright red while some pictures make it look like it's more of a maroon color. I'm hoping it's more of a bright red color but uh, let's find out. Alright. Scorpion MGL 150 and I got the extra high gear model. Alright, so hopefully it's not the same color as this box. But I'm going to put a picture of the previous two generation of Shimano Scorpions. One of them was almost purple looking and the last version was a deep maroon which looked pretty cool but I I never got around to buying one because I had the Corrado. So you got your oil, of course, and your paperwork. I'm going to lay this off to the side. Okay, there we go. So this is more of a maroon color instead of red. The highlights are red, right here on the spool tension, and the nut, but the body itself is like a maroon burgundy wine color, I think. It's really smooth. Okay, so this version has the Corrado knobs with the chrome end caps, as you can see. I'm going to spin this around for you guys, let you take a good look at it. It looks really, really nice. But I wish it was more of a red color, personally. Now, I've seen some videos already that uh, the Japanese YouTubers are making on this reel and it shows that they had a different set of knobs and end caps so I'm really glad that this model came with the Corrado knobs and these chrome end caps and yeah I'm gonna do my customary inspection compare it against the Corrado's and uh, we'll see what's what 
So in the past, there was really no real reason to import a scorpion from Japan unless you just really really wanted this color. And that's because Shimano really didn't engineer any kind of differences between the scorpion and the Corrados of the past. So that meant you got pretty much the same spool, the same brake system, same line capacity. So that meant the performance between the two models was pretty much the same. But that's changed with this new Scorpion MGL. Now before we go over the differences, I'm going to go over a couple of basic specs for anyone who is looking at this Scorpion and thinking of getting one. And we'll go over what's the same as well. Now, the first thing I wanted to say is that it comes in three different gear ratios just like the Corrado's. It's got the 6.2, 7.4, and the extra high gear, 8.5, which is what I have. Now the difference is that I believe with the extra high gear, 8.5, that's the only model that comes with the 90 millimeter handle and these big comfy Corrado K knobs. As you can see, they gave the chrome end caps, which is kind of surprising. I thought that they were going to be black. And the Shimano Japan picture of the Scorpion MGL shows black end caps. So I'm really, really glad they went with the chrome. It looks really, really nice. Now with the lower gear ratios, you get an 84 millimeter handle, as well as these smaller knobs, like the ones on this Casitas MGL. I think you still get the chrome end caps, but they're still really comfortable, but they are not quite as big and spacious as the Corrado knobs. So keep that in mind if you're thinking of ordering one of these reels from Japan. Okay, so let's go over what's the same. You got the aluminum frame, graphite side plates, made in Malaysia, no big surprise there. Of course, you're going to get your micro module gears made out of brass. You're going to get your X ship, dual bearing supported pinion. You're going to get your new SVS Infinity brakes. So, this is an upgrade from the previous Scorpion, which had the old generation brakes. Now, one thing to note is that the Scorpion came from Shimano with all four brakes on and that should tell you something right there. Of course you got the control of this SPS Infinity, the fine tuning with this dial right here. So let's see if they improve the feel or the turning feel of this dial. Okay so it turns noticeably easier than the Corrado that I remember so I don't think I'm going to have to loosen that screw up inside but the dial is still too flush with the side plate and the teeth are still small so they didn't improve much there but it's definitely better than the Corrado from what I remember so yeah that's what's the same okay so let's go over the differences and I'm going to bring out the Corrado K okay so the obvious difference is going to be that color and the finish. Now of course this is this reddish maroon which I think looks a lot better but it's got a gloss coating to it that's really shiny and really high-end looking and it feels really really good in your hand. And because of the color and the shiny coating you really can see the contours and design cues of this frame and body and you realize that it's a really really good looking reel. Now with the Corrado because it's dark and it's got this matte finish it's really hard to make out the contours and it kind of hides how good looking the reel is. Now they should have given this thing a shiny coat in my opinion. It would have really made the reel pop out more. 
Okay, so that's one difference. Now the second difference, of course, is going to be the spool tension color. But the Scorpion has got a really stealth Scorpion logo engraved on the spool tension. And it's kind of hard to see unless you kind of just angle it just right. So it's not too in your face. Of course the red handle nut. Of course the Durag Star clicks made of metal. Same as the Crotto. I wish it was bigger. Spool tension, no surprise. Does not click. And another difference is going to be the bearing count. Now the Crotto K and the Crotto DC feature the six plus one bearings while the MGL Scorpion features seven plus one bearings. Now I didn't bother to look at the schematics because I couldn't find the Crotto boxes to check out the paperwork but I'm gonna assume just like the SLX XT that they probably put a bearing on the main shaft because when you turn the knob I'm sorry when you turn the handle it's really smooth but it feels more rigid and precise than turning the handle on these other Corrados. This is buttery smooth but this is noticeably more rigid and feels like it has a tighter tolerance. It feels reminds me of the Bantam MGL. So keep that in mind. Okay so speaking of bearings of course since this is a JDM model they're gonna give you those those better JDM bearings and you can tell because it has that dark coating on the inner ring there so in my opinion it's no need to upgrade these bearings all you have to do is clean them you won't get any kind of real performance gain versus uh, you know an aftermarket ceramic bearing now of course the Corrado K you got the stainless steel now they're both anti-rust but somehow the ones from Japan the bearings seem to spin better I don't know how they do it okay so so far the differences between the Scorpion and the Crotto have been pretty minor but let's talk about the huge difference and the only reason why I bought this Scorpion that of course is the inclusion of the MGL spool as you can see it's black it's got the MGL porting on the base of the sidewalls and you can see when you compare the two that the Crotto spool is noticeably deeper and in fact I had line on the Crotto before I filmed this video I had to take it off and it took forever because it held so much damn line and because of the shallower spool the Scorpion is a 150 size line capacity. <clears throat> okay so time to get to the nitty gritty and we're gonna pop the spools out and just see how much weight this spool lost and I'm really really excited so let's check that out. Okay so I pulled out my super high dollar AliExpress scale and of course the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna weigh the reels themselves okay so the Crotto K weighs in at 7.71 ounces Scorpion weighs in at 7.77 so just a hair heavier and then the DC is coming in at 7.8 so you're looking at barely a tenth of an ounce of weight difference between all three but now it's time to get to the nitty-gritty I'm gonna pull these spools out we're gonna see just exactly how much weight was lost on this MGL spool okay so now that the spools are out let's take a closer look at the line capacity difference between the Crotto K and the Scorpion. As you can see 
Now the spool dimensions are the same otherwise 34 millimeters in diameter 25 millimeters across and since the DC is a 150 spool capacity let's see the difference there. The Scorpion may hold a little bit more line because of that indention in the center but all right let us get to weighing. Okay, so let's start off with the Corrado DC spool, which is really, really heavy. 20.7 grams, I remember that. Okay, so I can really feel the difference between the spools just by picking them up. Okay, so Corrado K, 15.96, so basically 16 grams. All right, so the Scorpion MGL, Okay, wow, 14.16. So it lost almost a full two grams over the Corrado K spool. Now I thought the spool weight was probably gonna be reduced by like one gram tops, but I didn't expect this thing to lose two grams. And then once you spool them up with line, the weight difference is gonna get even bigger. So that means that if I remember correctly, this Scorpion MGL spool is very close to the weight of the Cronark MGL spool. In fact, I'm going to put up a graphic. I don't know right offhand what all the MGL spools weigh, but I'm going to put up a graphic after I do my research and I'm going to see the difference in the weights of the MGL spools. One thing I'm going to do as well, I'm going to see if Shimano made any kind of difference between the spools so that they won't work within each other. All right. Nope, seems to work to me. Yep, spins freely. Looks a lot better in my opinion as well with this black spool. So yeah, a lot of you guys who have Corrado K's, this might be a good performance upgrade for you just buy a Scorpion MGL spool instead of uh, buying the Scorpion MGL itself. So that's pretty cool. Usually Shimano makes some kind of change to where you can't really interswap the spools between its models. All right. Okay, so now that we know that the Scorpion MGL has a much lighter spool. It's time to take it out on the water and we're gonna do a little on the water cast battle against the Corrado K to see if that MGL spool will really give us any kind of difference in casting feel and performance. I think it will, but there's one way to find out. And then we're gonna go to the casting field where all three of these reels including the Corrado DC. I'm gonna go head to head and do some long bombing to see who really casts the farthest. So it's gonna be a great comparison between a DC reel and a pure MGL reel. So be on the lookout for that. Okay guys, thanks a lot.